So I heard you need deep engrams. Season 21 just dropped and with it we have a juicy new currency, Deep Engrams. Why did I call it juicy, bro? These let you focus new seasonal weapons in the helm. There is a farm that allows you to get one Deep Engram every two minutes in the game and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. First, you'll need to get a checkpoint for the last boss of the Shattered Throne. LFGs are a very good way to do this. Then, it's as easy as just farming it with the strategies that I'll explain right now. It's actually the same exact farm that we used last season. If it ain't broke, no reason to fix it, right? How this encounter works is you kill these three knights and they drop a buff. If one person picks up the buff, the entire team gets it. When you get a single buff, the boss becomes damageable, but if you get all three, you absolutely shred the boss. Be sure that all three of you are using the Wardcliffe coil. Now, one of my teammates actually had Galahorn. That's fine, but I do recommend Wardcliffe. I also recommend using Solar Warlock with Starfire Fusion Grenades. This makes things much faster, but isn't required like Wardcliffe Coil or Galahorn is. Even after the Starfire nerf, all you need is the two charges. The last thing is you'll want a Waveframe Grenade Launcher. There are a lot of Thrall that can actually run you over since everyone is focused on the Knights and the boss. Only one of you actually needs the Grenade Launcher. Now for the actual fight, keep in mind you only spawn in with two rocket shots. With that said, Two of you are going to focus on the knights with your Wardcliffe coil and fusion grenades while the other conserves ammo. When you kill two knights, sometimes one disappears. Wait for him to come back, then kill him too, and grab all three buffs. With all three buffs, Wardcliffe coil actually two shots the boss. So that's what the third person is going to do from that point. It's very easy stuff. As you can see, it's 30 seconds per run. The other 1 minute and 30 seconds is actually just spent in the menu using the checkpoint. Now that is it if you want the fastest to find engram possible. I did want to mention though that there is one thing you can do which will actually give you max rocket ammo. I don't recommend this for speed, but if your team is struggling or you don't trust LFG teammates, then this is a good option for you. When you use a banner in a raid, your ammo actually carries over into the dungeon for some reason. This won't work for you if you are hosting the checkpoint, obviously, but your teammates will have 6 Wardcliffe ammo. Do with that info what you will. It's also worth noting that if your teammate that's supposed to do damage to the boss dies, they lose their buffs and they can no longer damage the boss. However, you can still clean up with fusion grenades and your grenade launcher, which is one of the reasons I recommended the build. Now if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. I post Destiny 2 videos every single day. Either way, appreciate you watching, I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.